I'm glad I started my day so early. It's crazy. Oh God, I really didn't expect this. I'm sweating so much. Oh God. Tulum is one of the most popular holiday destinations in Mexico. It changed very rapidly from a sleepy fishing town to a bustling spot for tourists. It's known for its beauty along the coastline, its blue water and white sand beaches. But as with all popular holiday destinations, the question remains, is it really worth the hype? Hi guys, my name is Tina and I'm traveling around the world and I'm currently in Tulum, Mexico. Today's video is going to be a two-day itinerary. We are going to do some pretty amazing things in this video, so keep watching because you will be surprised about what you can do in only two days. Walking along this hotel zone, you will probably notice that there is no beach left and right. I booked a hotel close to the beach to be close to the beach. But in order to get to the beach in this area, you have to go into one of the beach clubs, which are very expensive. I'm going to give you a quick hotel and room tour at the end of the video. So if you're interested in the place I'm staying at, please keep on watching. A few places in this area are already open, but this is more like an area where you stay up late and wake up late. So guys, here goes our breakfast. I was actually intending on getting breakfast here because this is also like a well-known spot. You can take photos here and they got these Instagrammable little smoothie bowls, but it's closed. Google Maps told me it's open from 8 a.m., which is not the case, obviously. Our first up today is going to be to follow the dream sign. And you can either, if you have a hotel here in this area, walk there, take a bike, or if you're staying in the center of Tulum, um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. You might want to get a car. I brought a separate pair of shoes because the streets here are a little bit dirty. The follow that dream sign has to be one of the most iconic Instagram spots here in Tulum. And normally people tell you to be there early to avoid the crowds, but again, people here stay up late, wake up late. And here's no one really, but probably also maybe it's not that popular anymore going to Instagram spots and I'm the only one doing that. So let's try to get breakfast here because it's the only place that's open at the moment here. <laughs> Smoothie balls are often the best thing to start your day. They're refreshing. They're slightly frozen. And you often get like fresh fruits with it and granola, so it's healthy as well. Tulum is about like two or three times as expensive as Mexico City. Restaurants, taxi, the hotels here in this area. Did I mention the beach clubs? If you are going to Tulum, I would recommend you to do research about your transportation. You can rent either a bicycle, a bike, a car or you can take a taxi, of which taxi is the most expensive option. Another way of getting around here in Tulum is, but that's more of an insider really, those little white buses, vans called Colectivo. Insider because they are more for locals. Actually, they are supposed to pick up locals from work and bring them there. There's not really an official schedule, I have the feeling. And then you have to wave your hand and tell them that you want to get on. Our next destination for today is going to be Plaza Carpenha, or however it is pronounced. They have one of those angel wings there, and they also have this little mushroom statue here and this little bench, which is also cute. I finished taking some photos here. Luckily there's no one here and our next destination and last photo spot for today is the Vela La Luz. That's also known as the woman sculpture. The name literally translates as come to the light in Spanish. Okay guys, I'm early here in the morning and there's already a line. I don't want to know how long this line is going to be if I don't come early in the morning. I got my most important photo but I had not really time to film it. And this, this is why you pay entrance fee. It's like a little park where you have like several Instagram spots. And what they did is like 
This statue was actually relocated. They noticed how popular it is and then they brought it here and made this little park. There are a lot of places like the breakfast place I went to and this place that only take cash. You have to go to the city center to get the pesos. I don't know exactly why, but ATMs here only give you US dollars, but you can actually pay with US dollars here as well. I was considering to rent a bike today in the afternoon, but look at, look at this situation. But honestly, it's getting so hot towards lunchtime. Like it's cool at night and in the morning, but now it's like, whoa. That's complimentary. This is peanut sauce, and then I got some pickles. That's really good. Should have been eating more Mexican food while here in Mexico. I finally got some tacos. It was a really good lunch, really filling. You pay, but you sometimes you get really good food for that and good service. Taxi drivers here. But just for a moment, to be totally honest, I think that especially here down at the beach where everything is really overpriced, if you want to see Tulum or Mexico in general, there are better places. bike ride in I don't know how long. I got the man-made bowl. I like to try out different smoothie bowls when I'm in places like this. Let's see. Yes. It's always a bit frozen so perfect for this weather. I've got nuts on top and some dry fruit and coconut. Hey guys, so this concludes our first day itinerary. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, there are some other things that you can do here. For example, go to Cenote, I think, in Cantato Nuang, on the other side, the side I didn't go to. Or you can enjoy the nightlife. You can go to a beach club. You can do some shopping. There are a lot of things you can do here if you're not necessarily on a budget. Good morning, guys. So for the second day of this two-day itinerary, I decided to book a tour. Of course, you can get to all of these places by yourself. My hotel found a local uh, tour company and they organized this for me, like the pickup here at my hotel. If you want to join the tour, it's easier to go from the center of Tulum um, because most tour companies are not going to the hotel zone. Tulum has, however, more to offer than just beautiful white beaches. It has perfectly preserved Mayan oh. ruins, exotic wildlife encounters and an amazing food scene. And one thing you should not miss out on is going to one of the cinemas. What my hotel did is they booked me a taxi to the supermarket, to the city center where my tour actually starts. So that's why I basically got my pickup at the hotel. It took a while for the guy to arrive, uh, probably because of the traffic. Now it's here, it's quite a big crew. Our first stop is going to be the, the ruins, the archaeological zone. 11.45, women group and a half group, 12. Okay, are you ready? But Tulum means wall for a big wall surrounding the city. But the name of this city is Sama. Mm -hmm. Sama means sunrise or morning. It's when the ancient Maya live here. Tulum separate means like a stinky water. Who get the name of Tulum? A straight the wall. Tickets are included, so we already got our tickets here, and we just skip the ticket line. Mm -hmm. 
and now we're going to the ruins. Tulum was actually one of the few enclosed cities built by the Mayas, with walls on three sides and the Caribbean Sea on the other. Basically, it was built to be a fortress. This is another one over here. Guys, it's super beautiful here, like I can so recommend to come here. You can see the ocean from here. It's super beautiful here, I enjoyed it a lot coming here. Our next stop will be the Cenote. Cenote. Did I say that right? Okay. <laughs> So guys, we arrived at our second destination. Yeah, here are some lockers and hopefully a place where we can change. And no jumping. Huh? Never. Me too. <laughs> so afraid. Oh gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a beer! <laughs> the cenote is a natural pit or sinkhole resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater. The term originated on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, where cenotes were commonly used for water supplies by the ancient Maya. Our lunch place, so it's finally time for lunch. Okay, because I told you everybody is. The lunch was extremely good. I got the chicken quesadilla. Look, I'm at the beach! Finally, I made it to a beach. Yay! Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Akuman. She's Chaira. My name is Francisco. Nice to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you, guys. Okay. Hola. because all of them were stopping and are like hey do you want to go somewhere do you need a taxi and it was so close to getting into the wrong one mm -hmm. 
Well guys, I made it. I'm back at the hotel. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy and exhausted and I need to get some food somewhere and maybe some water, especially water. But it was an amazing experience and Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, so let me give you a quick room tour. Um, it's not like the best hotel in Tulum ever. I got this bed. This is pretty amazing. The door is really hard to open and to close. That is the truth of being in countries like Bali or Tulum. Things don't work, for example, closing and opening doors. Same goes for this. I have a balcony, but I won't be able to open it if I'm holding this camera. I have a lot of space here where I can put my stuff down, like a little bench, this table there. I've also got my own bathroom and like a sink, a really nice sink, like, don't know if you can see it. The bathroom isn't as beautiful, but at least I got hot water private bathroom and I got shampoo and conditioner. I've got an air conditioner but because it's an eco-friendly hotel it's only uh, I can only use it between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. This is normal water to uh, brush your teeth because the water that they're using here is from one of the cenotes so it's extremely salty. Towel like I like I like, I like the detail. Don't hold the door. This happens. It is, as the name says, it's kind of like a tree house. Can you see that? And we got this little garden here outside. So you can go all the way up there. And there are still rooms. So basically, this all still belongs to this hotel. In this little area over here, you can get breakfast from 9 to 11. Okay guys, I'm back at the hotel and this concludes our two-day itinerary for this video. I hope you got some insights and inspiration for your trip to Tulum. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet. And let me know in the comments if Tulum would be a place for you if you would visit.